Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have another test, and this is a test for beginners. Okay, hey, and above, hey, don't don't think that it's just for <laughs> beginners. And it's a test from this book, which is perfecting the pronouns, and we're going to be testing demonstrative pronouns. Do you know what they are? They they are the this that these those. Yeah. Entonces, vamos a hacer diez de este libro y hablamos de todo en la siguiente parte. All right, so let's go through one by one. We'll give you the English, you translate it into Spanish, and then Cynthia will give us the correct answer, or at least one of them, anyway. Okay, so number one. This is a great job. Este es un gran trabajo. Este es. Now, Cynthia, in our answers, we have put a tilde on mm -hmm. este es, yeah? What's the current position on, from the Spanish Royal Academy on tildes with these words? Well, the Royal Academy said that there's no need to add an accent now to any of the demonstrative pronouns. However, I will continue <laughs> because it just looks correct and... And, and that's how I've been taught all my life and therefore that's how I do it. Yeah. But the Royal Academy says no need to. Okay. Computer says no. Computer says no. <laughs> However, the Royal Academy takes out things. They, t they tend to take out things that are important and put in things that aren't. But hey, that's just my opinion. So if you write the answer with the tilde, you can give yourself an extra point even though the Royal Academy would not. From Cynthia. Royal, the Royal Academy, Academy will take it away. Will take <laughs> <laughs> They'll have a meeting and decide to take it away. Okay, number two. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? And that question my son always used to ask uh, when he was little. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> and sometimes he would, he would say, ¿Qué es eso eso? ¿Qué es eso eso? ¿Qué es eso eso? So, ¿qué es eso? Now, the, th the thing about the eso, talking about the tilde, the ones that are what you would call neutral, neuter, yeah. they don't have tildes, regardless, you don't put them on, yeah? And that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bien. So, eso... It's just that. We don't know. The reason we can't give it a gender is because we're asking what it is. We don't know what, what it is, is, so we can't ge thing. we can't put a gender thing, on it. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. These books are old. These books are old. Estos libros son viejos. Mm-hmm. So, estos. So, that is masculine plural, estos, because it's los libros, yeah? So, they. However, it could also be estos libros están viejos. It depends if we're talking about the books being old, like from other centuries, or the books that are not old, they look old, like uh -huh. they, they call that. In an old state. An old state. Yeah. So, uh -huh. both could be correct. Without context, then I would say estos libros son viejos. Hmm. Okay. Number four, can you pass me those pencils? Now, in the northeast of England, we would say them pencils, yeah? Them so, pencils. can you pass me those pencils, please? ¿Puedes pasarme esos lápices o lapiceros, por favor? Esos. Okay. So... If you notice that, if we're talking about something of that, we, we say esos, yeah? It's same as esas, if it's feminine. Mm -hmm. And then when we've got this here, it's an este or esta or estos. So the way to remember it, just a little tip that comes out of the book is, when it's near me, it has a T, okay? So eso, esto, 
So when it's near me, it has a T. Just do a nice way of remembering which one is which, yeah? Right. Okay, number five. I don't understand that. No entiendo eso. Mm -hmm. And again, that's got no gender. We, we don't understand it. That thing. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you were saying that person. I don't understand that person. Then it would be, no entiendo a esa persona. A esa persona. Mm -hmm. Number six. That woman is a witch. A witch. <laughs> when you say it, your brain wants to say something else. No? That woman is a... <laughs> it's a witch. Is a witch. Esa mujer es una bruja. Mm. Do you say witch as well, like, you know, she's a bad person? Yeah, what she's a, a witch. Yeah. It can be yeah. quite sort of metaphorical, yeah. We can say that as well, like, what a witch. Like, qué bruja es, like, bad person. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Es una bruja. Mm. Or witch, like... In... Made me think of my ex. <laughs> Immediately, that I think when I wrote that sentence, that, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I had in mind. Anyway, I hope oh she doesn't watch God. this. I hope she doesn't watch this. I don't this. think so. I think no. she's interesting in Spanish. I think she's the one who always give our videos that one dislike. <laughs> immediately, every for years, it stopped now. For years, I would publish a video, it would go up, and immediately it was published, it would have one dislike. I just think, I bet it's her. <laughs> Bruja. Okay, uh, number seven. Take these things with you and those things too. Mm. Mm hmm. A bit more complex. Vale, so take these things with you and those things too. Vale, pues llévate estas cosas y esas cosas. Cosas también. So, estas cosas near you and esas cosas away from you, mm -hmm. yeah? And also, ah, sorry, oh, Karen, sorry, Karen. No, I was just going to mention that with you. Mm -hmm. Were you going to say that? Yeah. Oh, then you can explain that, sorry. When we, when we take something uh, away with us, that's the verb llevarse. It has the se on the end, yeah? Llevar can be to carry something, but if you're going to take it away with you, it's llevarse. That's why it's llevate. And not lleva, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. O lleva contigo. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Muy bien. Número ocho. What are those things over there? ¿Qué son esas cosas de allí? Mm. So, ¿Qué son esas cosas? Mm -hmm. Now, we're using feminine, plural, because we're using the word things. And la cosa is feminine, yeah? So, esas cosas. So, even though we don't know what it, what they are, we're able to give them a gender esas because cosas. it's a thing. But we've got the word cosa, mm -hmm. so now we have to uh, work around cosa, which is feminine. Exactly. Uh, number nine. How have you done this? How have you done this? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo has hecho esto? Esto, again, this neutral thing, this. General. Obviously, if you, put, if you added something on, this work, for example. Then yes. Then, then, then we have the word work, mm -hmm. so we have to work around that word. Mm -hmm. So it would be, ¿Cómo has hecho este trabajo? Mm -hmm. yeah, this trabajo would be masculine now. But because we don't have what it is, and it's, it's a non-gender thing yeah then we use eso neutral mm -hmm. okay and then the last one number 10 those boys cause problems in class mm. always the boys Muy bien. esos chicos causan problemas en clase Esos chicos. So those. Not these. Those. Mm -hmm. 
So no T, because they're over there. Yeah? Esos. Esos. Mm-hmm. Bien. So how did you do? How did you do with, uh, with the... Obviously, it's not just working out, is it this, that, these, those. It's also that making the sentences as well. Of Some course. of them were a little bit more complex than others, yeah? And I think it's worth mentioning as well that in Spanish, we have this, I mean this, um, these and blah, blah, and then that. But with that and those, we have also aquellos, aquellas, aquel, mm. yeah, or aquella, mm-hmm. which is, um, I would say, and I mean, you could get different answers about this, but it's usually uh, este, ese, aquel. Aquel is a little bit further yeah. away, like you can't really... Um, point for example you would be able to point it's like in that area mm. yeah whereas ese would be nearer or you can point yeah that would be roughly the uh, difference i i Plus, heard i heard for example uh, an example would be esta mesa esa ventana you can't see it by the way i can esa ventana y aquellas montañas aquellas montañas yeah mm. but i mean sometimes we do um Interchange, absolutely. Es, yeah. Esos and aquellos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that would be the so it would be three three steps instead of two, like in English. Mm. But again, the last the last two is more common to say eso and ese esas esos esas, esas montañas mm-hmm. than aquellos and aquellas aquel. Mm-hmm. But so if you if you see that, you know the difference. That is okay. a little bit further away. Mm-hmm. So if you want to get you prepositions in flying in formation yeah then you can get this on amazon you can get it in kindle form and it's also available in audio audiobook on our website and also available on spotify now and lots of other places where they do um audiobooks mm. Muy bien, bueno entonces cintia muchísimas gracias por eh, tu, tu español tan tan <laughs> bien <laughs> tan bien practicado como si lo, lo hubieras usado si toda la vida, ¿no? de España, ¿verdad? De, de toda la vida, la verdad. <risa> vale, chicos, eso es todo. Y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós. So, if you want to get your prepositions in order, that's probably the book to do it. Bueno, entonces, oh, muchísimas I, gracias. I expected eh? a, a rhyme. If you want to get your preposition in order. Order. Uh, think of something, hon. And then uh, we, we cut it and we add it. Uh, y mi hijo no, normalmente en la esquina muere. No, no, es que no. morder. Esa... <laughs> um, I really felt like you should have said if you want to. Get it in order. Or change the word order. All right. So if you want to get your prepositions flying in formation, uh, go on to Amazon and do a little, think of the word, a little... Asian. Asian. <laughs> Didn't work out. Intipation. Well. In in, intipation, yeah. yeah. Exclamation. No, no puedes pensar en nada. No. Okay. Que no, well, obviamente ya no, no soy muy poético hoy. Vale, pues venga, empieza. 